Six years of preparation, eight years of construction, billions of dollars of investment, and this is the nearly finished product. A bridge that connects three of China's cities within an hour's commute. The bridge is ready. As long as Hong Kong opposes one country uh, policy while making good use of the two systems, Hong Kong will surely share in the development dividends of the country. It joins the former colonies of Hong Kong and Macau, two special administrative regions to the southern Chinese city of Zhuhai. Officials say it's one of the most technologically challenging projects China has ever undertaken. The most difficult part to build was the 6.7 kilometer tunnel. It was the first time we put an underwater passageway of this scale in open seas. Builders had to lay and join 33 sections of concrete on the beds of the Pearl River, each weighing as much as an aircraft carrier. This is one of the most expensive pieces of infrastructure in China. Authorities say the bridge will help the city's economy by giving them access to other markets. Hong Kong is contributing nearly half the cost of the bridge. But many people are questioning how much the city will benefit from it and asking how much Hong Kong will really have to pay for this concrete and steel extension into mainland China. Hong Kong's people have freedoms and rights not offered in the rest of the country. But many fear the city's autonomy is under threat. There's been quite a few what we call white elephant projects in Hong Kong. They all involve either mainland Chinese money or mainland Chinese uh, commercial participation, how about? And uh, the idea is to make sure that uh, Hong Kong is part of China, not just on paper. It's a message Beijing has repeatedly sent Hong Kong over the past few years in the face of increasing protests against the central government's tightening grip on the city. The other transport link receiving a lot of attention is the high-speed rail network in West Kowloon. The Chinese government will control part of the customs and immigration in the Hong Kong terminus, making it the first time mainland officials will operate on Hong Kong soil. There are still more high-profile infrastructure projects on the way that blur borders. It's why many people feel it's just a matter of time before Hong Kong is assimilated by the rest of China. Divi Gopalan, TRT World, Zhuhai, China.